Hey guys, welcome back to My World is Gorgeous. This is your girl, Erica, in Richmond, Virginia, Zone 7B. Well, I'm out here again, and I got some tomatoes, some that are red, some that are starting to turn red. I'm going to turn you guys around and show you what's going on with the tomatoes right now. I got my little container because I got to pick some of these tomatoes before you know who get them. Them birds and them squirrels, all right? Let's see okay. what's going on. Well, mostly it's our ramas that are, whoops, I dropped one, that are doing well. So we'll stick him up in there. We do have blossom and rot on a couple of them. You see right here, um, a little bit of splitting starting on just a few. But if you look, we have more accordion tomatoes so we have one two three four five six accordion tomatoes on here and it looks like two of them may be dealing with a little bit of blossom in rot so hopefully with the rain that we just got oh this is a good one with the rain that we just got it will work and get rid of some of the blossom in rot that we have and like I said, some of these tomatoes were picking a little sooner. This one could have stayed on a little bit longer. But like I said, we don't want... See, this one has blossom and rot. So those I'm just going to get rid of. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, look at here. Look at here. Look at here. Now, I'm sitting up here trying to make a decision. Am I going to go ahead and take him? let them ripen up on the inside what are we gonna do oh yeah see this is what blossom and rot let me see if i can get out the sun what it first starts to look like and then it turns like this so these two we're gonna get rid of and i think i'm gonna go ahead and pick this one now i'm gonna tell you guys i don't remember <laughs> I don't have a tag for this particular one. I know that I planted some zebra tomatoes and I know that I planted my Rama tomatoes and I planted the accordion tomatoes. This is turning red, so obviously it's not a zebra tomato. We're going to go back and I'm going to look to see what other tomatoes I opened up that I may have put seeds in. Now, I'm going to tell you the other situation could be this um, bed here, I composted a lot of things in here, which is why I have this right here coming up. If you can see, I think this may be another, um, uh, I'm about to say zucchini, but a uh, spaghetti squash. If it is, I'm really glad, but it started pop popping up, up out of here as well, which I would suspect that it would do because like I said I got a lot of who sorry I had to stand up one of my plants right here it's a lot of um probably seeds and things that are inside of here I'm gonna pause you for one second all right I'm back I got that one up there we're gonna go ahead and take our tomato harvest and we're gonna go on back in the house because I'm sweating bullets and about and I'm only been out here right at about not even five minutes okay um my video recording time says three minutes and 29 seconds i came straight outside from in the house out here and i got sweat dripping down my face now right before i go inside i am gonna get a few of these um noodle beans right here we're gonna get some of those Cause a few of these are ready I got about seven of them looks like eight yeah I was able to get about eight of them and so I got eight eight noodle beans some radish leaves and then I'm going to quickly turn around here. Whew. Let you see the watermelon. If I could find my shadow out the way. We got here. 
Oh, this one is looking real nice and rounded. It's a sugar baby. This one, not so much, probably from that heat. Then we got our cantaloupe. It's two of them right in here. A nice size one here. And then another little golf ball size one down there. We're going to come over here to our orangelo. We got one here. One here getting bigger. Another one. Let's see if you can see it right there. And I think that's all that's on here for right now. My lemon drop watermelon has um, flowers on it, but it hasn't produced another one just yet. But I'm looking forward to do some more. And then I have my crimson sweet over here. And then these are my... Um, cucumbers and I have another uh, tomato plant there I'm not sure what kind it is but we're gonna go ahead and shut this video down sorry that it had to be a short one but the hotter it gets my camera will end up shutting off as well as um, I can't keep wiping the sweat I mean I can keep wiping it but trust me I don't want to so, and then I have a cucumber, uh, not a cucumber. <laughs> I have a pepper all the way over there that I think I'm going to go ahead. I probably, well, no, I'm going to leave him on there because he almost getting to color. This is the monster or monstera, something like that. Water, I mean, um, pepper is this one here, this one here. I picked a few other ones off. We got a little bitty baby eggplant here. And so uh, we have some more, um, I want to say green pepper so bad, but um, that's not what it is, uh, cucumbers growing. And then we have another pepper on that vine over there. All right, you guys, thanks for tuning in. Again, I am Erica, Richmond, Virginia, Zone 7B. And look what I just saw before I end this, a little cucumber here i don't know if we're gonna be able to keep that one or not because he's looking a little shabby but y'all have a great day try not to if you out in the sun don't stay out there too long okay go in take some breaks drink some water keep yourself hydrated happy gardening to you Thanks for tuning in to My World is Gorgeous. Make sure you remember to like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.